Hey guys, what is up? It is Dominic, and in this video, we're going to be breaking down Go High Level, but more specifically, all the new features that are being introduced to Go High Level and the new features that are coming out soon. So fun fact, I actually have the release notes here, and as you can see, there are a lot of them. I mean, this just keeps going and going for 44 pages, which basically just means that Go High Level has a lot of new things coming out, which is great for people like you and great for people like me, because nobody wants Go High Level to stay the exact same forever. We want updates. We want AI improvement. We want better calendars. We want better affiliate programs. We want better everything, and that's exactly what we're getting. So stick with me, and in this video, I'm going to break down everything that I can. But before I get into the video, I got to introduce myself. My name is Dominic Baptist. I am actually one of the top affiliates in the world of all time for Go High Level, and I have been around the block when it comes to using this platform. I've not only used it to create my own agency, but I've also created my own physical businesses and brands using the software. And of course, I've become a spokesperson for the software as an affiliate leader. And don't worry, if you're new to the channel and you're new to me, I break down on YouTube all of the different ways that I've used Go High Level to make nearly $200,000 a month in my mid-20s. Pretty awesome stuff. And if you want to be my affiliate and get a front row seat at everything that I'm doing and everything that I'm teaching, then by all means, click the link in the description below and sign up with my affiliate link. You're going to get both of my courses for free, both of my snapshots, which are going to get you completely set up with Go High Level, and a snapshot that gives you a 100% white labeled onboarding course that you can use for all of your clients and yourself. Yes, you heard that correctly. It's white labeled. I don't show my face. I don't show my logos, nothing. And it's completely updated for 2024. So there's that too. Another thing my affiliates get is direct contact with me personally. You can DM me, you can message me anywhere you want, and I will respond. But enough about me. Let's get into the video. Okay, so with all these new features coming out with GHL, this can be really confusing. And when I first started in Go High Level, it was honestly frustrating. I'd finally learned how to use the website builder and boom, they change it. I finally got used to how the format was for conversations. Boom, they change it. I finally start building courses and understanding the memberships platform. And what do they do? They go ahead and change it again. But after a full year of being upset about these changes, I finally opened my eyes and realized that they're doing this for our own good. Every single change that GHL does is to make our life easier. And I feel like it's my job to go in and show you guys what these changes are and how we should properly adapt to them. So let's do it. The first thing I want to cover is the calendars tab. Now, of course, the calendar tab looks a little bit different, but all in all, it's still super easy to navigate. We've got the calendar right here, which is going to show your appointments if you have any. And then we've even got a small calendar over here if you want to easily go through the months or the years. Not to mention the users below where you can see all the different users and click on the ones that you want to view. And then, of course, the calendars right here, which is going to show all of your different calendars that you may have. Not to mention if you're sick of watching my videos and you want to do this for yourself, it literally says what's new with the calendar updates right here at the top. So let's click it. And there it is, customize the calendar widget right here, which is something that people have been asking for on GHL for a long time. Being able to finally customize the calendar, make it look cool, highlighting your style and your brand identity. And then of course, below that, we've got one-time links, unique single-use scheduling links. Very easy to just send off to your people and get them to book an appointment as quickly as possible. Next, we've got organic booking by Google, which of course is just seamlessly scheduling directly from a Google search. That's pretty awesome too. And then lastly, we've got buffer time pre and post. We now add both pre and post buffers for an appointment. Appointment. absolutely fantastic all of these things were much needed and now we have them but we're not done yet I'm gonna click on calendar settings up here and this is gonna take us to our sub account settings where you're gonna see all the new different types of calendars that we can make inside of GHL now this is huge this is one of the things that was holding back the calendar section for so many years so check this out if I click on create calendar at the top right we now have five different options I remember back in the day where we pretty much didn't have any one of the really cool ones that I think people are gonna be using all the time is the service calendar this is for all those pesky businesses that have um services so like every single one of them i can think of so many different use cases for this but i just know from my affiliates in the past they have been asking for a service calendar for years and now we finally have one and then of course next we have the simple calendar now that's the calendar that everyone's used to on go high level i'm not going to break that one down you guys already know how to use it and then of course we've got round robin we've had that for a while too and then we've got class booking and collective booking which as you can see right here class booking is contacts can schedule a meeting with a single person on your team and collective booking is schedule meetings with multiple team members simultaneously, ideal for sales calls, technical support, interviews, etc. Two really cool features that I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to use, but we're not done yet. We've also got groups, which of course we've had for a while. Being able to create group calendars was an amazing thing that needed to be added and go high level completely delivered. And then we've got the service menu, which if we click create service menu at the top right, you can create the services that your business needs or the services that your clients needs right here and then connect it to a calendar that you create. Next on the list is rooms. So I'm going to click 
on create room at the top right. You can name the room and you can even have a total capacity of the room. And then of course, you're gonna connect that to the calendar of your choosing as well. And now you have an appointment calendar connected to a room where maybe you can host a webinar, give a speech, teach a class, whatever it is you wanna do inside of that room, you can now do. And then lastly, we have equipments. I thought this was super cool because I actually own a rental equipment business and I could totally start using this. So let's click on create equipment and you can name the equipment, put a description for the equipment and put the quantity and out of service quantity right there. Super cool and I'm definitely gonna be using this. But there you go, that's pretty much it for the calendars update. I think all of these different features were much needed, some of them more needed than others, but either way, I'm glad they're here. The next really big update I wanna talk about is the affiliate program. So you're gonna click on marketing over here in the left and then we're gonna go over to the affiliate manager dashboard. Now Go High Level has introduced their own affiliate manager dashboard for some time now. However, they are completely ramping it up, they're updating it, making it way more user-friendly and me being a big affiliate guy, I'm all here for it. So here's what the new dashboard looks like. You can see the total revenue generated, the conversion rate, and the total customers. And then if we hover over here, we've now got campaign, affiliate, payout, media, and settings. So let's click on campaign. This is where you can actually create the campaigns for your own affiliate program. Now don't get this mixed up with the GHL affiliate program. That's not what we're looking at. This is an affiliate program that you create for your clients or for whatever you want. Your clients can even create their own affiliate programs for their businesses. This is absolutely massive. Let me give you an instance why. Let's say you're trying to get your first client and it's taking you months. This is very normal. It's hard to get your first client. Some say it's the hardest thing you're ever going to do inside of this business is get that first client. The second, third, fourth, they become a lot easier because now you know what you're doing. However, for this example, let's say you finally got your first client and you cannot wait to get your second, third, and fourth. Well, one of the easiest ways to do that is by giving that client an incentive to go find other clients for you. And what better way to do that than an affiliate program? So now you can create your own affiliate campaign that says, hey, clients of mine, if you go find me more businesses to put under this software, I'm going to give you 20%, 30%, even 40% monthly recurring commission for every single business that you get to sign up with me. And after two, three, four signups, you're going to get the entire software for free based off your commission. The reason this works so well is because all business owners know other business owners. Honestly, they tend to be really good friends with each other. So of course, they're going to be able to show your software to all of those different people. And then you're going to get more clients and they're going to get more commission. Everybody wins and you're scaling with the best marketing plan on the planet, an affiliate program. The next tab under campaign is the affiliates themselves, where you can see all your different affiliates, the status of the campaign, how many customers they produce, how many leads, the money they're owed, paid, revenue, and their join date. Everything is right there. You're never going to miss anything. Next, we've got the payout structure itself, where you can see the pending, the approved for payout, the paid, and the denied payout. Then we've got the media, where you can create folders and add files to share branding media with your affiliates. In case maybe you wanted to add some marketing campaigns like posters, flyers, stuff like that, maybe ads, you can add that right there. And then lastly, we've got these settings. This is where you choose the payout term and structure. If we click right here, you can pay them on the 15th of each month, you can pay them on the 30th of each month, or you can pay them out every 60 days. So those are your options. And then down here, we've got the cookie life, which if you don't know what cookie life means, basically, if you have an affiliate link and you click on that link, the affiliate tracking of that link will only last a certain amount of time. That is what is known as the cookie life. So if you want that link to last as long as possible, then you should probably put a long cookie life on it. As you can see right here, I've got 365 days. So I'll give you an example. Someone clicks on my affiliate link and then they leave the program and they come back 364 days later and they sign up, then it will still track that they clicked on my link because I have a 365 day cookie life. So hopefully that makes things a little less confusing and you understand why cookie life is pretty important. But that's pretty much it for the affiliate program. If you haven't created one already, I highly recommend doing so. I will be making an updated video on the affiliate manager so that you guys have a full video on this. I've done it in the past, but I haven't done it for the updated version. All right, guys, here we are in the memberships category. If you guys don't know what memberships means, it basically means courses. Now, this one's bittersweet for me because I loved the way that they used to do courses in the past, and I'm honestly not a huge fan of all the new updates. I personally think it was better before they changed it. It was simpler. Everybody wants a simple way to get into a course. They don't want to have to log into two or three different things to get the course. So if anyone from Go High Level is watching this video, maybe they'll take this into consideration. I'm going to give my 100% honest feedback on all of this. Fun fact, I've already had meetings with them about this and I've given my input, but here it is on YouTube for everyone to see. This is nothing against Go High Level. I'm not trying to rebel against the company that's made my wildest dreams come true. I'm just giving my honest feedback and I think they would appreciate it. So let's get into it. The first thing you're going to do when creating a course is click on products. Now everything in the product section is pretty much the exact same. The ability to create a course has remained consistent and I love that. 
please don't change it. It's so easy. You click on create product. We can either start from scratch or import from Kajabi, which is kind of new. We're going to click on start from scratch. And then we've got the four different types of courses. They're all pretty much the exact same. Let's click on marathon course. We're going to name it and then we're going to create the product. So like I said, everything in here is pretty much the exact same. You write your headlines, your introductions, fundamentals, whatever you want for your subcategories and your main categories. And then you just add the videos and everything on the top, outline details, customize offers, comments, and certificates. These are all pretty much the exact same too. So once again, I have no problems with how the courses are created. My problems lie with how people get into the courses. So let's cover that. The first thing I want to do is go over offers. So what most people do when they want to get into a course is they create the offer. They're going to click on create offer, and then they're going to put the course that they created inside of that offer. They're going to either give it away for free or put a price tag on it. And then once the offer is created, you can click on the offer and then click get link right here. You'll copy this link and you'll send it out to whoever wants to log in. Simple enough. That's how easy it used to be. But now they have something called a client portal. And if you want to get inside the client portal, you have to go over to sites and then you have to click on client portal. And this gives you another link. So now on top of the offer link, we have this client portal URL and I get what they're trying to do with the client portal. They want to open up the idea of having this entire world inside of your membership area, basically the ability to create communities like a Facebook group. And then on top of that, they want their own version of like school. If you guys don't know what school is, it's basically a place for people to go in and have their own courses. And usually it's a paid membership to get in. The idea is fantastic. I just think the implementation is kind of difficult. So what I mean by this is when you click on the client portal URL and you sign in as a customer, you then have to somehow sign in to the course as well in order to get the course. It doesn't make much sense to me. And most of the time I do this, especially with new affiliates, it doesn't end up working. It doesn't give the course out. I'm not sure what exactly is going on. Maybe under the actions category right here, we need a new button, a button that says add course to the client portal. Maybe I'm missing something here, but it just seems like there's a big disconnect between the accessibility of the client portal and the accessibility of the courses itself. They seem like two separate things and I feel like they shouldn't be. I personally do not want my customers to have to log into a client portal and then log into a course right after that, because most of the people that are getting access to my course are getting access to a form that's on the landing page. So imagine how frustrated they're going to be when they have to click on a landing page, put in their information, get sent to course, put their information into the client portal, and then put their information again into the course. That's three times they have to put their information in just to get access to a freaking course. Once again, maybe I'm misinformed. Maybe I'm missing something here. Personally, I stay away from the client portal because I don't want them to have that extra step. So there it is, guys. That's my honest opinion on the whole client portal thing. I've been kind of vocal about this in the past, but I just think there needs to be an easier way to get access to courses. So if you guys want to know how I set up the structure for my course right now, pretty simple. I don't use the client portal. I go back over to memberships. I grab the offer. I click get link and I just use this link right here. That's literally it. That way my users don't log into the client portal and they log right into the course. It's the old school method. And in my opinion, it's a lot easier, but there are a lot of people that love the new client portal. They have their communities. They have all these different programs that they're using and they love having a giant hub for those things. And that's totally fine. But this was my honest opinion. This is my YouTube channel. And this is what I think. The next thing I want to break down is just a quick update on reputation management. Now this has already existed, but I haven't made a video on it. So I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. You can now customize the review widgets in a significantly cleaner way and then put these review widgets on your website so that people can see your reviews. So as you can see, we've got list right here, which is just going to show a list of all the different reviews. Then we've got grid, which I think looks super clean and I highly recommend. Next we've got masonry. And then there's carousel, which is another really clean one and it fits really small on the page. And then lastly, we've got legacy, which for anyone who's been around Go High Level since the beginning, this is the original landscape. And then down here, we've got the max number of reviews and the powered buy button so it can show your company logo at the bottom. Next outside of layout, we can click on content where you can add an example header. Then we can click on appearance. We can change the widget primary color, the widget background color, and the star rating color. Not only that, you can also change the font. And then lastly, the settings where you can take the embed code and put it pretty much wherever you want. So there you go. That's the reputation management management widget. Nothing too crazy, but it looks good. The next thing I'm going to break down is the conversation AI. If you don't know where to find this, you can go in the settings of your sub account and it'll be right there under calendars. And then of course, if you're an agency owner, you need to go to settings and turn it on for whichever sub account that you want it on for. Now, what exactly does this do? What is conversation AI? Well, in a nutshell, it's an AI conversation bot. Now, is it perfect? Has Go High Level perfected the ChatGPT integration? Obviously not. There's not many chat bots out there that have perfected the AI integration yet, but all that matters is that we have it now and it is being improved upon every 
single day. So for everyone out there who's trying to ride this new AI agency wave, go to your settings, click on your conversation AI, turn it on and play around with it. See how it does for your business. Because yes, in the future, conversation AI is going to take over. Why would humans sit there and answer people all day long? Simple questions when an AI bot can do it for a hundred times cheaper and probably 50 times more effective. It truly is going to either make or break a lot of agencies and a lot of businesses in general. So if I were you, I'd probably start experimenting with it. It may not be your thing. It's not a huge deal, but just know that Go Eye Level is really into AI and you're about to see a lot more of it integrated inside of your account. So there you go. Next on the list is the WhatsApp messaging. Now this was introduced a while back, but it is massive. Being able to finally text on WhatsApp, this is really big for people outside of the United States because I know how often they use WhatsApp. Now, of course, it's going to cost a little bit more per month, but if it's your only option, then you might as well use it. Now, this is still in the beta testing mode, but trust me, Go High Level is trying to make this more seamless every single day. We will not stop until communication is easy in every single country. Okay, the last thing on the list that I want to cover is the new integrations. So as you can see, you can now connect multiple Google My Business pages. This is really cool for people that have multiple Google My Business pages. So you can click on manage pages here and you can add more if you want. Then if we scroll down even more, of course, we have Shopify for all you e-com people, but we've had Shopify for a while. We've had TikTok for a while and even LinkedIn for a while. However, Slack is somewhat new. So if you guys have Slack, you can integrate that. And then of course, Printful is very new. So if you guys are using Printful for whatever reason, you can now integrate that into your Go High Level account. Pretty awesome. And then at the top here, we've got TikTok form fields mapping and LinkedIn form fields mapping so that you can run ads on both TikTok and LinkedIn. And if you guys want to be updated and first to check out all the new features on Go High Level, click on the labs tab at the bottom and you can actually turn on all of these different features. These are either features that aren't out yet or they're coming out soon, whatever it may be, you can actually turn on the beta features inside of the lab section and test them out before anyone else. So this is something that I've had active for a long time and I highly recommend doing it if you feel like you're gonna be using a lot of these new features. So definitely go to settings, check out the labs feature and turn that bad boy on. There's no harm in doing it. But there you go, guys, that's pretty much it for now. There are so many more things that I could have talked about. I mean, you guys saw how big the release notes were, 44 pages of new things coming out or new features that were just introduced inside of GHL, but that video would have taken like six hours long. So per usual, I just focus on the things that I think you guys are gonna be using the most and I make my videos around those features. I will also be making individual videos based on the calendars tab, the affiliate manager tab, anything that you guys want me to make it around, I will make a video on. But before I head out, if you guys have not picked an affiliate leader yet, or maybe you're on the 97 or the 297 plan and you want to upgrade using my upgrade link, then I will leave both the upgrade link and the affiliate link in the description below. You can get 30 days for free on any plan that you want. Once again, it'll all be in the description below. And if you guys don't have access to the software agency startup course, I highly recommend it. This course is completely free and it breaks down absolutely everything you will need to know to get started inside a Go High Level. Yes, you heard that correct. It is completely free, whether you're my affiliate or not. Click the link in the description below. It'll be there. Download it, go through it, and get your entire account set up in like two hours. Or if you want me to set the account up for you, you can hop into the course, go to the bonus section. You can click on Dom's one-on-one -on -one GHL setup, and you can actually hop on a Zoom and I'll set up the account for you and answer any questions that you want. I also do private 30-minute Zooms and one-hour Zooms. All of these links will be in the description below, as well as the link to purchase my second course, which is a complete white labeled onboarding. As you can see, I have my entire lead gen and onboarding course for $200 right here. But if you're my affiliate, you get this for free. So sign up below, get all my courses, all my snapshots, and get in touch with me all completely free. And I promise you will not be disappointed. But either way, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.